Hi, welcome to Cheese Kitchen. I love croaker. For this plate-sized croaker, braising is the best way to cook it. I got this croaker uncleaned, so I need to descale it first. Use scissors instead of knives. Scissors are not as sharp as knives, but they're easier to handle. When you get to the top part here, be very careful because the top fins can be spiky sometimes. Cut the stomach open from one side of the jaw. Turn on the faucet. Pull out all the internal organs, including the gills. They are not edible. Make sure you remove all the little part that's still remaining inside the stomach, including the blood that's right next to the backbone. Give the outside another rinse in order for the flavor to get into the meat as much as possible. We give three cuts to each side of the fish. We shake some salt, not that much, one gram total for each fish. We flip them over and add more salt. And remember to put some salt inside the fish as well. Cut some ginger, garlic, and some bell pepper. The bell peppers are mostly used for its color. Into two spoons of olive oil, you add ginger and garlic. You spread the oil onto the sides of the wok. Make sure the sides are heated as well as the bottom. When you see the oil is bubbling, put the fish into the wok. At 20 times of the speed, you can see the fish is changing its shape very quickly. Now we want the fish tails to be cooked as well, so we tilt the wok towards the fish tail for 10-15 seconds. And then we tilt the wok to the other side, also for 10-15 seconds. Again, okay, exciting moment. When you flip it over, okay, the skins are so still intact. Success, let's call it. And this one is a little broken, but not bad. Good, they're all successfully flipped over. And another tilt. So during the whole process, we really want to make sure the whole fish is fried evenly from the head to the tail. Add one tablespoon of soy sauce, another spoon of a dark soy sauce. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Now we want to add some water to cover half of fish tap. Cover it and let it cook for five minutes at medium heat. At the end of the five minutes, add one teaspoon of sugar. Put the bell pepper onto it and let it cook for two minutes. Exciting! It's fully cooked. Croakers do have some fine bones. Use caution when you are feeding small children. Thank you for visiting Cheese Kitchen. I'll see you again very soon.